Self-Determination Theory Explained Part 1. Core Components of Self-Determination Theory Self-Determination Theory, or SDT, proposed by Edward Desi and Richard Ryan, is a framework for understanding human motivation and personality. It posits that optimal functioning and psychological well-being depend on the satisfaction of three innate psychological needs, autonomy, competence, and relatedness. Autonomy refers to the need to feel in control of one's actions and decisions, emphasizing volition and self-governance. Competence is the need to feel effective in dealing with challenges and achieving goals, fostering a sense of mastery. Relatedness involves the desire to connect with others, forming meaningful relationships and experiencing a sense of belonging. Motivation in SDT is categorized along a spectrum ranging from intrinsic to extrinsic. Intrinsic motivation stems from internal satisfaction, such as engaging in activities purely for the enjoyment or interest they provide. Extrinsic motivation, by contrast, is driven by external factors like rewards or obligations. Part 2. The Continuum of Motivation and Internalization The theory emphasizes the process of internalization, where external motives are gradually assimilated into one self-concept. Internalization supports autonomous functioning, critical for long-term engagement and psychological health. SDT identifies four stages along the extrinsic motivation spectrum. These are external regulation, introjected regulation, identified regulation, and integrated regulation. External regulation involves compliance with external demands or rewards. Introjected regulation reflects internal pressures like guilt or shame. Identified regulation occurs when the individual values the behavior and sees its importance. Finally, integrated regulation is the most autonomous form, aligning behaviors with one's core values and self-concept. Part 3. Applications and Implications Self-determination theory has significant implications across education, healthcare, workplaces, and sports. In education, promoting autonomous supportive teaching practices, like offering choice, encouraging self-paced learning, and acknowledging students' perspectives, boosts intrinsic motivation, academic achievement, and psychological resilience. In healthcare, interventions focused on fostering patients' autonomy improve adherence to treatments, dietary changes, and exercise routines. In workplaces, SDT suggests that environments supporting autonomy and competence enhance job satisfaction, reduce burnout, and drive innovative performance. Leaders can implement strategies like participative decision-making, recognizing employees' efforts, and providing growth opportunities to create an SDT-aligned work culture. In sports, autonomous supportive coaching fosters persistence, enjoyment, and optimal performance by emphasizing self-directed goals and minimizing controlling behaviors.